We talked in an earlier episode about how we mature from archetype to archetype. One kicks in and then another kicks in like the, the youth or the virgin is followed by the wanderer, the warrior, the father, the mentor, and then on up through king, queen, sage, mystic, that kind of thing. But what happens to the archetypes that we leave behind, that we evolve beyond? Do they just kind of go into the dustbin or something? And the answer is that, uh, and it's a really interesting answer, that they stay with us and they actually form the foundation for the archetypes that will succeed them. Like, have you ever seen those Russian nesting dolls where you have a small doll and then another doll goes on top of it and another doll goes on top of that? That's kind of how we evolve as far as the archetypes. Um, I'm gonna cut away or put a picture up here, a photo of my friend Clint Smith. And the reason I love this photo and what I want you to see in this is Clint is, uh, was a uh, Marine combat veteran of Vietnam, Purple Heart winner, a guy whose credentials as a warrior archetype are impeccable. But this photo now, he now runs a shooting academy, he and his wife Heidi, called uh, Thunder Ranch in Lakeview, Oregon. And this picture here is of Clint kind of on the firing line as he's teaching, and he has his ear protection on, and he has magazines in front of him. And if you look at this photo, you can see the warrior archetype still in there, right? The, the young Clint, the Clint who was a Marine in, in Vietnam. But you can also see the mentor archetype and the teacher archetype. And I would go beyond that to even say you can see the sage archetype, which is really true with Clint because he mentors so many people, young men and women, and they'll phone him up at two in the morning and he'll kind of counsel them on, his, on all of uh, their problems in their life. So the thing that we should remember and that should give us hope and courage as we go forward is that the attributes that we acquire, the virtues we acquire in the warrior archetype, the virtues of courage, camaraderie, the willing embrace of adversity, patience, selflessness, and so forth, stay with us when we move on to become a father or a mentor or a leader or a king. And in fact, um, one of the things that, uh, the issues that a lot of people are dealing with today are, let's say, young men and women who've returned from combat, come back from deployments in Afghanistan or Iraq or whatever, and have trouble transitioning into the civilian world. Or in the athletic world, you might have football players, basketball players, and so forth, who retire or are injured and have to leave and have to reinvent themselves in the civilian world. And what the issue that they're really dealing with is they're trying to move from one archetype to another, from the warrior, the athlete archetype to whatever is next, the father, the mentor, the business archetype, the artificer. Um, and the thing that I hope can be used as encouragement here is that these earlier archetypes stay with us and they form the foundation and the basis for the next archetype so that the strengths that we evolved as a warrior are strengths that we can tap into as we evolve beyond the warrior archetype.